Welcome to St. Anthony Catholic Church. We celebrate the fourth Sunday of Lent. Our presider for this Mass is our pastor, Father Papa. Mass intention is for parishioners of St. Anthony's. Please join in singing our opening hymn, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. reading from the first book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king among his sons. As Jesse and his sons came to the sacrifice, Samuel looked up and Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, 
Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees does God see, because man sees the appearance, but God looks into the heart. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy, a handsome youth to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for he is the one. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed David in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness, rather expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus heard that the 
they had thrown him out, he found him and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered and said, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. He said, I do believe, Lord, and he worshipped him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, In my uh, 32 years as a priest, it is the, same, the first time I uh, celebrate the Sunday Mass, the weekend Mass, in the empty church. And it will be also for the first time Nobody will tell me that uh, I look very good in my pink. I miss you. As we look all around us, it is hard not to see a world broken and sickened by the coronavirus. So many of our brothers and sisters are suffering because of this virus. So many of them have died. This morning, the in Italy, only today, over 800 people died. And yesterday was over 600. And in our country here, we are getting to 300 deaths. In the face of such a world tragedy and crisis, we might be tempted to despair or worse still to imitate the Pharisees in today's Gospel by uh, being uh, short-sighted and concerned only with their uh, own realm of self-interest. But today, as we continue our Lenten journey, with its uh, overall emphasis on uh, prayer, fasting and sharing, we are once again challenged to live as the children of the light. For that is what produced every kind of goodness, righteousness, and the truth. In our gospel reading today, Jesus heals the man born blind on the Sabbath, blind from birth. The man was removed from one of the greatest joys of life, the gift of sight. 
not only did it exclude him from being able to appreciate the beauty of creation, but because of blindness or indeed any illness was seen as a punishment for sin. My dear parishioners, many of us think in the same way about the coronavirus. Is it a punishment for our sins? Is it the end of the world? How are we going to survive? We panic. The stars are wiped wipe out. I can tell you that uh, we don't believe that the coronavirus is a punishment for sin. Absolutely not. God is responsible. It is not the cause. The God you and I believe, we believe, is a loving God. Remember, He came or He became one of us and died for us. Asked by uh, Jesus if He believes in the Son of Man. The newly sighted man responds, I do believe, Lord, and worships him. By doing this, Jesus not only restores his physical vision, but opens his eyes of faith. In that one special life-changing meeting encounter, the blind man moves from physical and spiritual darkness and exclusion to the land of faith filled vision and a renewed relationship with God and community. It is into the same light filled land of faith and relationship that each one of us has been invited by our bodies to pray, to believe that God will restore our lives and heals us from this coronavirus. Our faith gives us the strength we need to face struggles and challenges. My brother says, during this time of crisis, as your pastor, I invite you to follow the instructions given to us by the CDC and the local authorities. Please take this time to pray more, to be close to God, to read the scriptures, to pray the rosary as a family, to read the spiritual books, to read our daily newsletters. Please go on our Facebook page and website to find more information. As we know, the parish office is closed, but John 
Tina, Kim, and myself are available by phone and emails if you need anything. My company's window is still open to feed our brothers and sisters in the need. They are already depressed by the virus. We cannot prevent them from eating. And I'm taking this opportunity to thank each one of you, to thank all who have brought food and service. Let us take care of each other as God's family, as God's children. Please remember that even though our services are limited at this time, we still have bills and wages to be paid. So, if you can, go and send your offering through e-offering. It will be great. And please find a way, if you can, to help your parish community. I love you. I miss you. And take care of yourselves. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for, for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brother she says, as the Father sent his Son to heal and redeem us, we now ask him to heal and answer his prayers that we may be comforted in any affliction. For the Church, may God help us to remain faithful to all of His commands and grow in the fullness of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, particularly during this time of crisis, may the Lord grant them the fortitude to remain true to His justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in mind, body, and spirit as 
especially during this time of health crisis. May the healing power of Jesus come upon them and bring them comfort and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who are gathered around this video and watching us uh, through the video today, may the Holy Spirit increase in you a spirit of conversion and openness to his work in your lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, May they, through the mercy of God, rest in the fullness of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who were to come into the church at Easter, help them and keep them strong during this time of waiting. Especially those here at this parish who are going to be baptized. Ava, Laurie, Serena, Kylie, Max, Callum, Lana, Davis, and Lauren, and Ezekiel, and Megan, and those who are coming into full communion in the Catholic faith here at this parish, Mark, Dwayne, Todd, Jennifer, Jack, Ashley, Allison, and Alyssa. May they ponder the word of God in their lives and savor its meaning more fully day by day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers that we hold deep within our hearts this day, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Merciful God, we know that uh, you are the giver of all good things. Heal and the answer these prayers that we bring you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing Amazing Grace.
that walked in darkness into the radiance of the faith, and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin through the waters of the regeneration to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And with, we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without the end declare.
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us pray. O oh God, who enlighten everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you in all sincerity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please bow your heads for God's blessing. Look upon those who call to you, O Lord, and sustain the weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death and bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil. To reach the highest good, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all.